All right, folks, I have something here that is totally and utterly unique to me. I have never, in all my years in this business, had one of these. Now, I've had vans, which is what this is, but not one like this. This, I'm afraid, is going to be something kind of special for the right person. Let me start her up, and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. This is a 2006 Ford E350 van. Two unique things about this van. Number one is, if I can get the angle right here, let's see if we zoom in. 350,515. I'm pretty sure that's a record even for me. I've had some high mileage vehicles before. Here's the thing though, this thing has been freakishly maintained because it's in great shape and to get it this high a mileage, I, I mechanically I'm talking about, uh, you really had to take care of this thing. The only thing I know mechanically is when I first got the van, it had a P0171 code, which is a lean bank one code which most likely means like an O2 sense or something simple and stupid like that. Uh, I didn't fix it. Chances are it'll probably come back on, but I tell everybody everything I need to know or you need to know. Air conditioner, unbelievably ice cold. Uh, Ford always has made the best air conditioners, but this one is of course no different. The interior, actually as you can see, is in pretty darn nice shape and we'll go over the rest of it. Uh, but get this, here's another reason why this is so unique. See that little gizmo right there? Let's see if I can, there we go. What that is, is a refrigerator control unit for the back of this van. You can see the bulkhead here. That is a liner inside of this van. And this thing has this big air conditioner on top. It's a refrigerator van. That's what I'm telling you. Um, now, if you need a cargo van and you want to rip out the uh, liner, have at it. I don't care what you do with this vehicle. But if you need a refrigerator van, it's ready and good to go and it's ready to work. All right, let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle. Like I said, it's got some mileage on it, but somebody actually took care of this thing. Uh, this was traded in at a Ford dealer. I and mean, look at the seat. Amazing. Even with this mileage on it, the seat is still only has the slightest bit of wear and tear. I remember it is a 2006, so it's not like it's a 99 or something. Uh, tilt wheel. Oh, radio. Oh, oh, horn. Let's do the horn. That works. Let's do the wipers. They work, as you can see, and the radio. I forgot to check. Yeah, and the radio works. So it's kind of basic. There's not a lot of fancy frills, bells, and whistles or whatnot. But you know what? It's to, for work. It's not for play. All right. Well, unless you want to like turn it into like a conversion van or something. Well, that's totally up to you. All right. These these tires actually on the front look fantastic. Look at that. 13, 30 seconds. I mean, 12 and a half, a little bit more. Large truck tires typically have about. 14 when they're new, so those front tires are almost brand new. All right, rear tire doesn't look quite as good, but that one is still almost 10 30 seconds, which is pretty darn good. Way more than halfway left on it. All right, let's walk over to this side. Let's see what the look. Let's see, right rear is, uh, yeah, that one's about 10 30 seconds. And we're going to do the right front. Yes, it does have a squeaky belt, you can hear that. Uh, yeah, this side is almost uh, 13, 30 seconds. So, yeah, I would say these front tires, they're hand-cooked, a good brand. They're almost brand new. Like I said, somebody really took care of this. Now, of course, the body is not fantastic. Well, actually, it's not bad. Um, it's, you know, right front fender. It's a little dirty. Still has the lettering on it that we just painted over. That's up to you to do what you want. Here's your front door. You can see pretty nice shape. Not a lot of rust. Actually, I haven't seen any rust yet. Here's your door frame. All right, here's the passenger side of the cab. You know, not bad. Again, you know, you have to take all things in consideration, of course. Uh, this is the, it's a, obviously panel doors on the side. And here, this is the whole thing. See this? You can see that is, it's got a raised floor, but that's just a lot of insulation right there. And you can see this thing is blowing out some cold air. I mean, that's ice cold. I don't think this is a freezer truck. I think it's just a refrigerator truck. But I got to tell you, the unit works really good. And I don't know what they delivered. I'm guessing milk or something in this thing. That would be my guess. But you can see it's got insulation all the way around. The refrigerator unit, pretty, like I said, it's interesting and unique for me. And you can probably fit a lot of milk in this thing. Or whatever it is you're delivering. All right, close that. There you go, you can see that's the one door, 
That's the other door. Oh, this is, just so you can see, this is the ultra long van, too. This isn't like a shorty. This has the, the extra whatever, 18 inches, whatnot. Uh, as you can see, some scrapes on this side, some place we touched up. Uh, again, 350,000 miles, folks, and it was a work vehicle. Mechanically, like I said, they really took care of it, but it looks like it's had a few bumps and bruises. Well, I'm standing here right now, and you can see that's where the cold air comes out. Just blasting me in the face with ice cold air. And fortunately, it's warm enough out today I can actually tell that it's air conditioned. All right, there you go. There's your back. Here's your bumper. Seen better days. Those are actually cheap, like 100 bucks on the internet. You can get a new bumper for this thing. All right, the doors are insulated. Close that one. And close that one. Actually, the original dealer that sold this van is where I got it. Yeah, you know, you can see it's not perfect. All right, let's take a look underneath. I do have a spare wheel. I just got to get it. I had it when I, my nephew was driving this back from the dealer, which is about 60 miles away, and he did get a flat tire, so we used the spare. I got to get that back. I'm going to try to find a tire for it. If nothing else, I'll definitely get you the wheel. This side actually looks really nice. You know, very little scraping, no rust. Again, it's an 06, so it shouldn't have, well, I see, is there any, no, I don't really see any rust. You know, you can see what it's all about. Let me see if I can get you a view of the roof. I'm not that tall, so let's take a look at that. There's your refrigerator unit, right there. And looks like there might be a little bit of rust issue on the top there. Other than that, not bad. It looks like uh, that's who installed the, uh, whatever you call it, the, the liner. Not bad. Let's take a look underneath this baby. There you go. Well, I don't know what this means. It says PK belt number, whatever. I have no idea what that means. Um... I don't know about you, I can't stand that noise of the squeaky belt, so you might want to fix that. Alright, now we're going to take it for a ride and see how she runs. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. I know absolutely nothing about this van. I just got in it for the first time today to do this video. Normally, I drive them ahead of time and whatnot. I'm just kind of pinched for time today. So, I got to let you guys know, I really know nothing about this vehicle. So if you're interested and you need this, I highly recommend either sending somebody out to check it out for you or coming out and looking at it yourself. But let's take it for a spin. All right, well, I'm gonna be doing the driving part of this video the old fashioned way, in other words, the way I used to do it, when I used to hold the camera and drive. Then I got smart and actually started putting it on a tripod. The only issue with this is, as you can see, there's no back seat. There's nowhere to put a tripod. So. Like I said, I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. Let me put my seatbelt on here, and we'll go for a little spin. Now, I did question my nephew about how this uh, vehicle ran. He did say it shifted good, ran fine. Um, but like I said, I've never driven it. So we're kind of doing this together for the first time, and I will try to describe to you guys everything I see. Now, I did a cold start before, as you guys could see, and I just did a warm start there. You can see the temperatures, you know, coming up. And, oh, there it is. There's your little check engine light. And that's the one I was telling you about. That's the uh, P0171 system lean, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go for a ride. Four-speed automatic overdrive. has electronic overdrive. You know, I didn't even look to see what size engine's in this thing, but whatever. I know it's a V8. I'm just not sure what size. But I'll figure that out when I um, put this on the Internet. I'll disclose exactly what size it is. It looks like there's quite a bit of gas in this thing, too. Huh. All right, let's go for a ride. I'm kind of a bit curious to see how this thing runs. It actually is funny because normally when you drive a big one-ton cargo van like this, you feel like a pea in a tin can. But you know what? I got to say, with this refrigerator unit on the back, it's actually smooth and quiet. I'm surprised. Seems to shift very nicely through every single gear. I'm not surprised. Like I said, I think this thing is really was really well taken care of. What are we doing, like 50 miles an hour right now? I'll tell you, the front end doesn't feel all loosey-goosey like I expected either. It seems to be actually, look, it's going down the road, I'm not touching the wheel, we're going pretty straight. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I think if you need a big van, heavy duty, it's going to be cheap enough. 
I think this would be the one for you guys, for you. Doesn't even need a lot of work or anything, I don't think. All right, so far the directionals are good. The brakes feel pretty good. I'll do a little brake test for you guys when I get back. Oh, this is gonna be interesting turning around in this nice tiny little spot that I normally whip around in a car. But this is just a big ass van. Let's see how the turning radius is on this thing. I'm gonna guess it's not real good. All right, looking pretty good there. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. So I guess I'm gonna be doing a K turn. How about that? There we go. But that belt squeal is really annoying. I didn't even know it had that issue. I don't want to hit this telephone pole behind me. All right, there we go. That wasn't too bad. It does have uh, mirrors on both sides. All right, how are we looking traffic-wise? Oh, car coming. Man, this thing's tough to see out of. Actually, it looks like a bunch of cars coming. So, look, a lot of cup holders. Well, that must be for like the hard-working guy that needs like four cups of coffee. All right, here we go. Off we go. All right, I do notice, and I didn't hear that before, but I hear it now, sounds like a slight exhaust leak. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know what that's about. But again, you probably can't hear it on the video, but it wouldn't be fair of me not to tell you about that. Yeah, it just sounds like a slight, slight exhaust leak. So what do we got to do mechanically? Let O2 sensor fix the exhaust leak and maybe put a new belt on it. Well, that's not bad for an 06 with 350 on it. All right, what I'm going to do is go into this um, vacant lot over across the street from my place, basically let go of the steering wheel and just slam on the brakes and see what happens. And that'll just hopefully give us an indication of, you know, the brake balance, brake adjustment, that sort of thing. Uh, they're cleaning the road here, so I got vehicles all over the place. But I'm going to pull over here. Oh, look at They just cleaned all my gravel up. Here we go. And... Okay, now, I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but that's pretty cool. I'm very happy to report that this van has anti-lock brakes. Because what happened as I slammed on the brakes, I don't know if you could hear the pump activating. I could. I could also feel the pushback from the pedal of the anti-lock brakes activating. About all you can see is maybe the steering wheel jiggle a little bit. So that's actually a good sign. Anti-lock brakes, nice safety feature. Dual airbags, that's all you need. There's only two seats, so you're probably going to get yourself a safe little van, or a little a safe huge van, I should say. All right, so we're back. Let me do a little recap for you guys. This is a 2006 Ford E350 refrigerated uh, cargo van. Like I said, you can rip this liner out if you want and just turn it into just a really big cargo van. Or if you need a refrigerator van, this would be a good one for you. And let's take one last uh, walk around the outside and see what we're dealing with here. Seems to run good, seems to drive good. Like I said, you're probably going to need, um, let me hit, let, rev this up. Yeah, it does. See, now I don't hear the exhaust leak, so I don't know. Maybe that was my imagination, but it, I want to tell you that I did hear something. Just telling you what it is. Needs a belt. It's squealing, as you can see. Um, and it's got that P, that P code I was telling you about. Other than that, you're in pretty good shape. Surprisingly so, actually. I'm actually surprised how decent this van actually came out and turned out to run so like I said almost new tires which is very nice at least in the front and that's a whopping big van right there Alrighty, well there you have it folks. I hope some, this makes somebody a lot of money. Thanks.